Hi, my name is Gail Scott and I'm Director of Jefferson County Health Department and Health Officer for the County. And we're here today to just give you an update on the current situation of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hi, I'm Chris Barron, Executive Director for Population Health and Clinical Services for Fort Healthcare. Gail, yeah, so tell me, um, Jefferson County right now, we hear a lot about uh, screening and testing for COVID. What, can you tell us what the difference is between uh, screening and testing? Sure. Um, it is recommended now that if someone feels that they have symptoms that may be COVID-19, that they call their physician and that physician will do an assessment and that will include an assessment of their symptoms, an assessment of their possible risk. And for most people in Wisconsin, we're still considered low risk. So if they feel that they need to come in and have an assessment of their symptoms, they will tell them either to come into the clinic or go to the, uh, a different entity such as urgent care to be evaluated. And if it is considered that they are high risk due to a travel history or exposure to somebody with COVID-19, then they would do the testing. But at the current time, we are not doing testing just for well people or people with symptoms and no risk factors because the symptoms may be due to other diseases such as influenza or the common cold. And so those diseases should be ruled out through testing and assessment first. And then if they are medium or high risk, then we would consider doing a COVID-19 test. And that would also be done in conjunction with talking to the local health department. And we may even have to consult with the state health department to make the best decision for the patient and for our community. So the idea behind screening really is to determine who needs the test, right? Correct. We would be looking at the individual's risk and we would be looking at their symptoms and that would determine whether or not they would uh, be tested for COVID-19. Now, when a patient gets to the point where we decide to test, there's more that goes with that, right? They become something called a person under investigation, correct? That is correct. As we in public health say, a PUI or a person under investigation. And there is a two-page form that we fill out or the hospital fills out. And that has to be entered into our Wisconsin Electronic Disease Surveillance System or our data system for communicable diseases. And then the person would be tested as appropriate. And then they would have to go into uh, isolation at home until the test comes back and we determine that they do not have COVID-19. Great, thanks Gail. Um, my understanding is that when, when you look at a map of, of where COVID has turned up positive in the United States, none have been in Jefferson County yet, so unless you have traveled or interacted with patients that are positive, the likelihood of contracting it in Jefferson County is very, very low, right? That is correct. At the present time, we do not have any cases in, the Jeffer in Jefferson County. So far, there have been eight cases as of three o'clock today diagnosed in the state, and that includes Dane County, Pierce County, Fond du Lac County, and Waukesha County. So right now, we have not determined any active transmission in Jefferson County. So this time of year um, uh, is the time of year we catch a lot of germs, whether it's influenza or cold or whatnot. What advice do you have for, for people that feel like they have, they, they have something, some illness, but uh, what advice do you have? My advice is do what you normally do. If you're sick enough, contact your doctor and also protect those around you because getting influenza or even a bad upper respiratory infection uh, can be of uh, consequence to yourself or to other people around you. So we just recommend to get uh, health care like you would normally do and absolutely get emergency help if you're short of breath or have other symptoms that need immediate medical attention. Um, and always remember to call ahead to the provider to let them know you're coming so they can be prepared because they will take special precautions 
including probably putting a mask on you before you even get into the clinic or get very far into the clinic. So always let them know you're coming. And please take the normal precautions, washing your hands, coughing in your sleeve, staying home when you're sick, being prepared with the, getting enough medications and food and supplies, and also um, making sure that you stay home long enough until you get well. Yeah, this, the advice is so important to contact first by phone because they might interview you and find out more about the information. And, and part of what we want to do is prevent a lot of unnecessary interaction if we don't have to. We want to use those resources of phone and even telemedicine. We have an option through Ford Healthcare eCare where we can do televisits and very soon you might see more around COVID-19 on telemedicine. Um, one last question on, on illness this time of year. Is it too late to get a flu shot? Absolutely not. We still have flu shots at the health department and I know Fort Healthcare medical providers also have them. And incidentally, uh, we have just gotten some cases diagnosed as of this morning of influenza A. So it's still out there yeah. and it's still important to protect yourself. And being vaccinated against the flu is so important in general, but now with this, what's unfolding with COVID-19 uh, is if you're vaccinated against the flu, that helps us narrow down it. If you do get ill, what it might possibly be. Yeah, the vaccination is also a good step in making sure that uh, you can prevent the flu, yeah. but it's also a good step in possibly reducing the severity of the illness. So it will help you get better quicker. And also, if you think you have the flu, it's a good idea to call your provider early because they may be able to prescribe Tamiflu for you to help you out. All right.